Welcome to this Pygame tutorial. In this video we're going to explain the code for the second example which talks about how you can change the colour of something in Python and Pygame, um, and particularly how Pygame describes each different colour. So if we start by having a look at the code, um, as in the previous example we've set up a window that's 400 pixels wide by 300 pixels high and we've saved that display into an object called screen. Um, so, we start using that um, object variable called screen um, and we fill it, um, completely fill the screen um, with white. Now, in, Py um, in Python, um, if we want to define a colour, we need to, uh, to give it the amount of red, the amount of green and the amount of blue. Um, and that describes the amount of light for each of those primary colours. So, if you want black, Black's a complete absence of any coloured light, so you'd put zero um, in for each of these numbers. 255 is the maximum number, um, so if you want full-on white, which is maximum red, maximum green, maximum blue, um, then it's 255 in each. If you want to find out the red, green and blue values, just go to any website that gives you a, um, an RGB red, green, blue colour wheel, click on any colour, um, and it shows that colour in hexadecimal, or in deanery. Um, so these are the numbers that we need um, for pi game. So this this um, yellow here will be 145 red, 255 green, but no blue. And those numbers are the same in hexadecimal. So FF in hex is 145 in decimal. Um, and then the middle two letters in hex are the amount of green. And then also the final letters, which you often see in HTML and CSS and that type of thing. Um, at the amount of blue. So back to the code. Once we've um, filled the screen in white, you won't actually see the results of that until we get to line 36, which flips the displays. Now, if you read the comment up here, um, Pygame works by drawing to an off-screen surface. So when um, when you draw a shape or an image or something, um, it doesn't actually draw it visibly to the screen straight away. And the reason for that is you don't want bit by bit um, things to appear on the screen. You want things to appear as um, all in one go. Uh, so imagine it like you're holding a piece of paper, you're drawing on the side facing you whilst um, the rest of the people in your class are watching the blank start slide. Once you finish drawing your picture, you flip the piece of paper over and they can see the, the drawing that you've just done. It's the same sort of idea here. Um, and if you're ever confused about why what you've told Pygame to draw isn't appearing, it's probably because you've forgotten to update the display to flip the, um, the display buffer. Okay, then I'll just use raw input again. Again, this isn't ideal because you have to um, type something in the console window rather than having the, the Pygame window selected. Um, but I'm just using it so far because hopefully it's something that you recognize and are comfortable with. Um, and it just pauses the program until you've typed something. Next, we fill the screen in red, so that's full on red, no green, no blue, and update the display, flip the display, ask to pause, and then close the program again. So if you've understood that, it's worth going through some of the things at the top. Just try and change the colour to black, or to blue, or to yellow, or to any other colour that you can think of.